Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We're back here on No Man's Lambs with Grover Games. So I went and got a load this time and this time I remember not to sell it and exited the game. So we got another batch of trees cut down and it is starting, it is really handy using that bag handler, let me tell you, to lift all these logs. But let's see how much we get from this load. 15 grand. But we are sitting at a pretty good spot right now. So I kind of looked at the, the last thing I did, just because I'm not very familiar with all the planting seasons yet. yet. We're getting to the point, if we want to have any oats, we need to get that going by tomorrow, but I, or at least latest April, which I don't think we're going to do any oats. I think, well, haven't decided yet, really. I think we're going to, we might have to just do oats and, do we have it? Can we do sorghum? I do not see sorghum. Oh, there it is, wait at the bottom. I thought it would have been closer to the top. We might be just doing oats and sorghum our first year, just because of the way our season's starting out. Um, right now, I haven't really looked at too much for planners. I've been more or less thinking, investing into a baler and the haying equipment because I think it's going to be more beneficial to bale up the grass and wrap it and turn into silage and start selling that off first for us to help kind of help us survive out here then to to go into uh and then go into our row crop setup but I think I think we're going to finish this day off at least we're going to at least get one more one more load of uh, vlogs and hopefully get about, about another 15 grand. I've been kind of, my off time, I've been kind of pricing in my head how I want to do this. And I think the smart move is we might just bale up the grass and then we might just pick it up and set, set it off to the side for now till we can get a, till we can afford a wrapper. Like right now, we, I think we could actually afford a bale wrapper, but my my thought process is that so basically there's those stationary wrappers like the, from the Anderson pack and such, and my thought process is instead of like we're gonna we're gonna go with a round baler. I was thinking of going with a square like a small square baler and going that way, but with us needing to make a good. Whoop, See, calculated. Just barely missed the tractor. That would have been a bad start for not even having an hour on the tractor to nail that. Anyways, so back to what I was saying. I think we're going to end up investing into a round baler first. I've, I kind of found an older one we can invest into. Not the prettiest looking thing, but... It's fun. It's gonna be functional for what we need it for. Is what the main thing. And the other thing I was looking into was for a mower. There's a there's a real cheap mower we can get. It's it's small. I'm not gonna lie. So it's gonna it's gonna take us a while to take us a while to even get our all the grass that we plan to mow before we start. Like, doing our tillage and such. And I think we're just going to have to camp out in the tent for a while as well. I kind of wanted to invest into a bigger house right away, but with it getting warmer out, it won't be so bad staying in the tent for us. But that's kind of my thought process right now. I think we're going to buy cedar right away. Well, obviously we need to buy some sort of cedar. I think this first season we'll probably just end up drilling sorghum and some oats and they're not they're not bad well we could also do some beans too i guess i we don't have to do just strictly sorghum and oats maybe we'll do sorghum and beans because i was kind of thinking of maybe investing in some chickens for out here to have a little bit of company kind of quiet out here and the only the only stuff we have going on for like lot for Oh, wildlife is the birds chirping and the 
deer we see running through here all the time. But that's, but yeah, that's kind of my thought process right now. I think if we don't buy the stuff today, for nope, oh, I kind of can't see. There we go. Only bad thing about oh, okay, we got the perfect length there. I'm not getting rid of my measuring stick. This is kind of the perfect. This is almost the perfect length for throwing them on that truck. Oh. For, for on the logging trailer. But my thought process is if we don't get the stuff bought today and hauled back, we definitely need to get it done the next morning. And with the with the days getting later, we be able to go longer in the day, even though we could work at night and such, but I'm hoping that we can get at least another growth stage out of this grass if we wait till tomorrow, but if we get the equipment we need home right away, we'll have it here, because I think it's still a little bit too short to get the most out of it. I'm sure we won't get the most out of it in the long run, but I think what we're going to end up doing... Because we'll also have to buy a plow and plow a bunch of ground. I think we're going to start out back there with mowing. Straight out back here. Get all that cut. Up there, I think we're going to kind of leave that one alone for now. Because just I'm thinking of putting a cattle pasture in back there. And we could always... Fire the Oliver here. And with, and I just figured it'd be nicer to put them up on, kind of up on the hill, top of the hill there. We can kind of see them a little easier and see, check out how they're doing from down here. And then by that point, we'll have, we'll have some grass bales and then we'll have some silage bales. I think we're going to stay away from haying for a little bit for not, like the hay, making hay for now. This is like the handiest thing ever if you do not oh, like using the log and fort at all. But that that's kind of what I want to invest into first for our livestock. I almost went to pick up that tree there. I don't be losing my measuring stick. But that's kind of a what my thought pro like future expansion that plans for now is to Get some cattle and then we get some beef cattle and maybe put up a greenhouse eventually and maybe get a little little shed of chickens, not a huge shed. That way we can start producing some eggs and then we'll have some produce to sell too. But yeah, I think that right now I'm this is probably the first time I've been ex like super excited about this playthrough, especially since Got such an easy way to pick up the logs and such. Like, I know it's not super realistic, but, you know, this is this is kind of one of those situations, you know, you gotta play the game how you want to play it and not worry as much about other people saying how they want you to play it. Because in the long run, the way I view it, if they have, a, if people have a really big issue how I'm handling this right now, they could always pick up the game themselves and play it the way they want. Cause this is the, this is our, t this is basically my time, our time investment of when we choose to play the games and how we choose to play them. But I just, I'm just, I don't know. Like I said, I'm really excited to see what I can turn this map into. I, like I said, I'm not the most creative person in the world, but we're gonna. We're gonna give it our college try here with this one. I also, I also think maybe we should try and take. I think we're gonna try take all these trees out before we do haying or any of the grass work. Oh. I think that's gonna be the smart move here. Maybe we should try and take all these. Oh, driving over that log there. Let's pick this one up and put. But I think that's going to be the smartest idea instead. We're going to... I think we're going to try... Try to spend our time here. Get all these trees cleared out. And then we'll worry about... 
getting the hay equipment and such. And then the only place we'll have left to, that we can harvest trees from is just up the hill over there. And I think I got most of those little ones cleared out. Because like I said, I try to focus more on the little ones first before taking out these bigger ones. Because I knew when we got the right equipment to handle it, that we were going to be able to make quite a bit more money out of it. But I think we're going to jump into the time lapse here. I'm... I'm hoping to get another lo load after this one out before it gets too dark, but we're going to take all these trees down here. And we'll see you guys at the end of it when we start purchasing our hay, our grass equipment for baling.
Well, it took most of the night, but we got it all on there. Had a little bit of issues with... Accidentally, the tarp tension belt system. Grab it onto the... Handler here. Better get the lights off on that. Also, I was kind of startled when I was... Sitting here playing, there was a loud, like, roar noise, and I... I have never heard that before playing this map in all my time. And it really startled me for a second. But we're just gonna wait to haul this in the morning. So I've been thinking if going with the grass stuff first would be smarter, or if we should worry more about getting our fertilizer and other equipment like that. Head over to the tent here. Because, well, we'll see what we... So, since... If we're just gonna be bailing the grass up, and not wrapping it right away, we'll have... I think we'll have plenty of money and time to do that. Because let's look at the months here. So we will literally have... April to get all our sorghum, oats, or beans in. So we'll have... So if we focus, if we focus on doing all our hay and stuff in March... This is going to be kind of tricky. I'm just trying to think what... Because we still need a... We're going to need a fertilizer spreader. We're, we're going to need... We're going to have to get a plow. Fertilizer spreader, plow, rock picker. But I suppose we... We could, in theory, skip the rock picking for a season. Or for a year. Just because I don't think we're going to have enough time between us. We're going to have to lime all the fields, too, and do two, two rounds of fertilizer. We might, ha might have to just hold off on stone picking this season. Maybe that might be... We'll lose a little bit of our yield, but I don't think it's... A lot, lot per se. Granted, most of our money right now is going to be coming from just logging. That's just a given already. $21,000, so. <laughs> so, I think let's take the tension belts off. Let's pull this into the trap over here. There's a few things that we're going to need. We'll get our flatbed trailer set up here. So we'll also need a bale fork to move everything. Granted, a bale fork isn't expensive, by any means expensive. So that's, I don't know why I'm concerned about that. Let's see, let's customize flatbed. Yep. Oh my thing it. So, nothing for sale that's worth what, well, there's worthwhile stuff, it's just that we don't need it right now. A little gator, so. So what I was thinking, eventually we'll probably get that too. Um, so what I was thinking for hanging equipment, I found this old press roll baler. I mean, it's... We're gonna get it with the shields, cuz you gotta always think about safety around here. So we're gonna get that. We're gonna get... Let's see. I, I think I'm overthinking how much money we need for everything. Let's get that bale spear. But we're all, I already know we're gonna need that. And I think we're going to go with this New Holland roller bar pack rake. Now, the only thing that kind of stinks about this. Well, let's see here. So this is what I was thinking for a mower. Not too much power, but it's definitely not the widest. Or we could go with... I was thinking the John Deere MoCo. 
But in the end, we're not getting a lot more. And we really need to budget. So I think we're going to go with the lizard mower and we'll probably get it in. We'll get it. We'll get it in green. Green looks a little bit nicer. And then we need to decide what we want on rakes. I think the roller bar is going to be the best one for us to keep ourselves on budget. Yeah, we're going to go with the roller bar stuff. I might have to drive the tractor way down here to pick it up, though. And let's see. I think this is what I decided for the plow in the long run. It's not the biggest thing either, but I, I kind of like the standard blue. That looks nice. But I'm not sure yet. I thought about going with the one of the rippers. Just because obviously they'll be a little bit wider. But the issue with that that I have is that they tend to dig up a lot more rocks than plows. Apparently. Like bigger stones, I feel like. But 23,000 for a rock picker. Actually, we might be able to make make this work somehow. So I think we got the roller bar rake bot. Yep. Got the roll bar. Baylor, bale spear. Now we're gonna try something here. Wait, where's the Did I not buy okay. A certain freak out like, did I not buy the other roller bar? Ooh. Okay. That's I have not figured out the best way to hook this stuff up for the few times I messed her with it. So I might cheat a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna cheat. I'll be honest with you, I'm gonna probably just super strength the one underneath, because this stuff, I do not know how easy it is to hook this stuff up in reality. I've never had one. I never had one of these growing up. The only thing we had was just the the rake itself, not the whole setup where you can have two rakes going at once. So let's see here. Get this turned around here. I think maybe if we're lucky we can do this and... Oh! One trip if I don't fly off to the stratosphere first. I also put just put it out there. I also plan to use super strength for like loading this stuff up per se. But like the mower and such, I'll use it to get on the trailer. Because in reality, if you're going to be out of store, more than likely they're going to have some way to help you load it on a trailer or something if you need to. So let's grab that. I think what we'll do is we'll put the bale spear in the back end of the truck. There we go. Oh, kinda are? Maybe? Oh. Got the truck in now. Okay. Put a tension belt there, so that doesn't fly around the whole time. Oh, I don't know if... I don't think we're going to be able... Well, we're going to try, give it a college try here. If we're going to be able to get this all in one trip. Got it. Well, I th think we can barely get it on there. Uh, doesn't look like it's dragging on the ground, so I think we're going to call that good.
Look at... Ain't that just a sight to see. Got our press baler, our mower on there, and all our rake set up, all hooked together. This, I know we hauled quite a bit of logs, but I feel like this is putting, this is definitely putting quite the strain on the truck right now. I am giving it its hull and it's struggling to pick up speed. But that's okay. But I think we're gonna end up. Yeah, I think we're gonna end up buying the plow. Well, I'll have to do some thinking between episodes. I'm I'm going back and forth, and the other ish thing is that. We got all this grass to cut yet, and I can't remember. I think I got the right mod on. Kind of a sight to see now, coming approaching the place and seeing that whole area bare. Oh, actually, before I could forget, let's unhook the roller bar. Oh, nope. Not that one. There we go. This turned around here. Get that trailer unfolded. And we're gonna we're gonna take the loader off. There's no reason to leave it on there. So I think in between episodes I'll take some time and grind all the stumps out. And I think, like I said, I think for now, my plan right, like for now, I think for cutting grass, we're just gonna cut where we're planning to put the field, where I'm planning to put the three fields. Cause I think we're only gonna start with three fields just cause of the time crunch we're gonna have. Trying to lime and possibly rock pick now too. We're gonna have quite a workload ahead of us and then we're, we're not going to have, so basically with our 64-ish, 65-ish thousand dollars, that's all we're going to have for this bit. We're, because I'm not planning a log to start logging again until, oh, got the tension belt on. Can't even see. Take that one off. Oh, that one's still on. Uh, might have to get in the truck and... Yep, gonna have to get in the truck and do it that way. There we go. Got that unfolded. Oh, let's unhook that there for now. Well, I think during the in between episodes here, I'm gonna take my own, take some time away and grind all the stumps out. And I think we're going to end up cutting all that grass along here. We'll, we'll end up cutting all those spare, spare few little trees out there. And then we're going to end up baling it all. And then we can move the bales with our flatbed trailer here. Before we get too far, I'm going to move my Measuring tree right into these few trees here because these are going to be the definitely the next ones to come out. Yeah, those will be the next ones to come out. So let's. I think we're going to start. So the tricky thing I'm not looking forward to it with the roller bar rake is like doing. Like normally. I go around and do the corners and such, but maybe, like do outside rolls in the field, but maybe, maybe I'll just unhook the rear one and then go around and do that last. 
yeah, I think that's what I'll end up doing just so I can kind of keep it, keep myself sane. And then I think we're going to end up extending this field both, both directions, the one behind us that's already may come with the property. And I, I do know that I may have taken a few trees off the land, just one or two, but it's... I forgot the lumberjack bot allows you to cut trees and trim them anywhere, but it, it'll be fine. We didn't take that much, and I either that piece or the piece over there, 25 or 27 will probably, is kind of what I have my eyes set on right now for our next piece, pieces to be bought here. Back up here. Yeah, I think this little mower is going to get get itself quite a workout. To Do not have access to this. Okay, I was still a little bit backward. Okay. Uh, I know I could probably go a few more. Yeah, we'll probably try to go a few more passes over. I think we can get up right up to that tree line, and that's about where the end of the property line is. But I, like I said, I think. We'll do up to, do around that rock there. We'll just do up to the kind of the little drive here, it looks like. For our first like grass cutting. And the rest will kind of, I think we're gonna try to let the rest grow on it, grow a little more. I don't see this giving us a lot per se right now. But we're gonna, and my plans for the field is I'm going to go to the border to this rock. And then we're going to put another one on the other side of this rock here. Kind of follow the dirt path that curves around these trees here. We're going to take these trees out and we're going to kind of follow all along there. I think that's, that's the plan right now anyways, but... Yeah, we'll do it all along here. And I think we're just going to extend that field all the way kind of where the dirt path is up over there. Yeah, that's that's what we're going to do. And then we'll extend it towards the end of the property that way as well. And we'll have to get over there and trim that. We're, we're going to be cutting a lot of grass here. Might take us a little bit, but you know what? Farming is a patience man's game. But this, I think this Oliver was a really great choice. Like, I know... Oh, jeez. I guess we're going to have to stop here quick. So, I think this is where... Where we're going to wrap it up for this episode. I'm going to have, obviously, some stump grinding to do little chunks like that so turn this off here no reason to leave it run and waste the fuel and we'll go out I think there in the meantime I'm gonna grind all this take all these stumps out like I said we're gonna we're gonna also head over and take out those few trees that are just randomly sprouting way out there in the middle of nowhere we'll get those loaded up set off to the side one thing I wish one mod I wish we had was the real like mower mod like back in 19 when you run over stuff like this it would just get rid of it completely but i suppose i could use the terraform and the painting mod to get rid of that stuff pretty easily and since there's a free mod to make it free so but anyways enough enough rambling off like that so i think we're gonna end this episode here um if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up it really helps out the channel if you're enjoying the content please subscribe um, this Dome Man's series, I'm actually starting to really enjoy, so I think it's going to start to become more of a common thing, along with my Elm Creek Hard Economy playthrough. I think the Hard Economy playthrough is finally starting to take off for money-wise in there. It's it's still difficult make, getting a good amount of income, especially when I'm sitting here playing on normal, and we already made probably, oh, 80000 roughly, I'm guessing, for just logging but logging's always been a very profitable thing in here um above all else i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day and most of all thanks for watching <laughs>